Now, I know nobody asked for this, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about workaholism and the fact that uh, probably none of us are being as productive as we should be. So, right by, right before this podcast, I had a friend ask me, you know what, you should be productive today. You should get something done. I wasn't going to make a podcast episode today, actually, in about a week since. Uh, but I got that text and I was like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to do one today because, you know, it's, sometimes it's really hard to stay motivated. Uh, and I... And that's saying something for me. Uh, I have a lot of people around me who are working full-time jobs at least 45 hours a week. And they're always all like, hey, how are you, how do you have so much time for all this? And how do you have the time to go to school and go to work and work out and stay motivated and, uh, you know, still have time to relax, have time to meditate and rest because uh, meditation and prayer forms of rest, and you need rest in order to actually have the energy to do all, all the stuff. But, um, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not blessed because I 100% am, but I feel like my decisions more or less brought me to where I am now, and I feel like everyone's does in some way. Of course, there's some predetermined stuff, but um, I always just sort of try to be positive and help everyone around me to the best of my extent. Um, I mean, of course, some, a lot of people have depression and feel like that the weight of the world gets too much, especially as you get older, it's increasingly true. And, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be in the position that I am right now, and I'm hoping that I can use this sort of headspace that I've been blessed and sort of help and inspire other peoples into uh, adapting into their own, maybe. Um, so... I try to write every day, I try to work out most days, I, uh, you know, I just sort of try to keep all the bad habits out of my life, and I try to keep all the good ones in, and some people are like, hey, how do you have all the time to do all that? Uh, well, first of all, I get a lot of rest, I always make sure I get eight hours of sleep no matter what I'm doing. Uh, because that's the time that your mind sort of convenes with each other and processes everything throughout the day and actually the time right before you rest is very vital you can sort of nudge your subconscious into certain directions so for example right before you go to sleep you're going to be all like oh, I want to make this up um, you're going to sit you can say things to your subconscious like you're going to we're going to make this album and we're going to find a record label and we're going to make animations on YouTube and they're going to get hundreds of thousands of views and I already see it happening. I've already grown so much and I'm grateful for that growth and I'm going to, I'm grateful for the growth that I'm going to continue to receive. And, you know, some people aren't going to see results right away, but usually doing this every day will officially change your brain because repetition can change everything so I would suggest sort of saying something like this to your brain every night uh, you could call it meditation you could call it prayer but um, whatever works for you uh, the time before rest is definitely most valuable especially if you get all the rest that you need so um, a lot of people just sort of live wake up go to work for eight hours and then maybe not slack off in the evening but don't really get too much productive done and I see that too much and I always hear people complaining about how little time they have and how unhappy they are but sure there's not a lot of hours in the day but there are a lot of minutes in the day and if we could be productive with those minutes then you know that could go a long way now I know that doing a lot within a small amount of time can be pretty mentally draining but that's why you gotta get your sleep that's why you gotta eat healthily and not really confide into the cheap fast food that most people eat because it's going to drain you of your energy and make you not want to do anything especially if you're someone who's passionate about something like music or painting or writing or poetry or pottery or anything uh sports you know and then you get lost in your responsibilities and then you never find the time to do that um it kind of makes you forget what life is about and it's really depressing it's just a further dark hole and i see so many people go down and i want to try to do what i can to keep people from out of that hole 
and just sort of keep doing what they love. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making my podcast. I'm making a lot of music. I have some very exciting things coming uh, pretty soon. The album that nobody asked for. It. You know, and if you're not happy somewhere, don't force yourself to be there. Uh, a lot of people do things because they feel like they have to, you know. They got to make ends meet, but that's not being successful. Um, you know, they're always look, and those, a lot of those same people are the ones who look at rich people and they're all like, oh, look at him. He's rich. Uh, fuck that guy. But honestly, those people are there for a reason. And if it's a good reason, then you should naturally be, uh, feel gratitude in their, feel gratitude from their perspective and, uh, feel proud of them feel and rejoice in their success because if you're just sort of resenting money the idea of money and all these people with money then you're never going to have money that's necessarily the money flying away from you and the success and the happiness and doing what you want to do and not being trapped under someone else's boot but um of course the people who make their money wrongly by exploiting workers or uh you know, other unconventional means, then those people get their karma in one way or another. So uh, that's why you always got to be positive to everyone around you because you don't know how they got their money. Uh, the universe always is just a revolving door. So, um, yeah, it's funny. Speaking of that, my, the, I feel like the universe has been sort of dropping podcast ideas right in my fucking face. And I've been too unmotivated to really continue and make them so uh you know i have so much free time that i could be doing this take me an hour and then i'll still have so much free time to do all the other stuff i already work today um my uh, school doesn't start uh, for a little while and i know some people I, i'm not saying i have all this free time i'm like you know just frolicking in the fields like I deal with my own bullshit too, so like along with everyone, but um, everyone needs a little bit of free time to be able to do what they want to do, of course, and to rest and meditate and really prosper and become the person that they want to be. Um, but, you know, how does this really relate to music producers? Uh, well, all music producers need jobs, and of course, if you become too much of a workaholic, then your free times are going to start to fade, uh, passion wise. And, you know, someone like me, if I really let myself get too deep into a job and to, you know, feel like I don't have the time for anything, then I'm not going to be able to do the things that I feel like I'm meant to do and chase my own goals. So, uh, you know, I think that really applies to everyone. So, um, and, you know, some days it may feel like you have all the time in the world, and then the next day, you never know what may change. So you always got to make the most of the free time as soon as you have it. Uh, you know, get all the rest you need, eat healthy, um, and they'll all come back to you, and you can try to be productive, creative, happy, just like humans should be. You know, humans are, were created, so humans have to keep creating. Uh, you know, things that come out of our ocean of our minds, so. That's why I like music production so much. It lets me get out whatever I'm experiencing within that moment of my life, and then I'll be able to revisit it and, you know, have other people enjoy it and have it match up to points in their lives, and then they listen to that and think about, oh, I remember when I listened to that, so that's why I love about music so much. Um, you know, each song means something different to everyone and just millions of billions, trillions of meanings just floating out there, but you know, none of us are invincible. You never know what's going to change, so just try to be as creative as possible and just try to make the most of your time as possible, but other than that, you know, I work out at home. I'm not like a crazy gym freak. Uh, I write, I try to write all the time and or at least a page or somewhere between a page and three pages every day. 
you know, at work, I go to school, and people are all like, how do you have time for all that, and still have energy to, like, make podcasts, and make music, and do all this, and at the end of the day, it's just, I get my rest, and I don't really let anything overwhelm me, and when it does, I cut it out of my life, so, uh, you know, the whole point of this podcast is just live as happy of a life as possible, and be creative, and, you know, keep being you, so, I think I can go ahead and end this one off here, thank you guys for tuning in, uh, yeah, take it easy.